Good morning, everyone. Um, today we're doing a get ready with me because I have a dinner this evening. Um, I'm getting my hair done later, but I really need to dye it again because it's got very faded and like the roots are quite yellow, um, like at the top. So we're dyeing my hair at the moment. Um, so yeah, I thought I would show you the process. Um, so because these are hair extensions, um, I tend to mix my hair dye with a bit of conditioner as well so they don't dry out too much. Um, I'm using Manic Panic uh, Rockabilly Blue, that's the one I've used for years. Before that I used to use Crazy Colour, it was like a teal colour, I can't remember what it was called, but it was like teal back when I used to wear a tune kit um, and my hair was like more turquoise than blue. And I'm going to mix it with the, the conditioner I have at the moment, which is the OGX one. So, and we just gotta mix that up. I'm gonna show you in case it falls out. Okay, that's the hair dye ready. Now, the next bit is safety. Normally, I do this naked so that I can't get it on clothes or anything, but this is YouTube, not OnlyFans. So, I'm obviously wearing a t shirt that will protect my skin. My dress is also like cut off from here, so I don't exactly want like blue shoulders, blue neck, which regularly does happen. Right, the next very important step is to get rid of anything that you don't want to get blue on. Um, so my pale coloured towels are going off to the side. Um, and last but not least is a pair of gloves so that my hands don't go blue. Um, because it's like if, you, if I'd done it with uh, bare hands, which I have done before, some of you have seen this, um, because they're like longer exposure it like really sinks into your hands. Um, and even nail varnish remover can't get it all out. So I don't really want to have to go on stage or anything tonight with uh, like blue stained hands. Having said that, it'll probably happen because that's just who I am as a person, but at least I've tried. Here we go. Right. Easiest way for me to do this is to separate. I really hope nobody sends this to Brad Mondo. But I'm not using bleach, so I feel like whoop, that's not gonna happen. Right. Stuck to the conditioner. Let's move it all. Yeah. And then we really just, you know, slap on, just like painting. Um, I try to grab an extension all at once so that I know I've got it all. Um, and then you just, yeah, slap it on. Try and get it all the way up to the roots so that it covers the, the yellow, yellowish bit that's come in. Um, that fades out really fast because um, it's not being bleached or treated or anything. Um, so that's fine, but yeah, I just want to cover the yellow a bit. Um, I find extensions very hard to dye because they're a lot thicker than my own hair. Um, so I use however much I would use on my own hair, um, and then I find out that it's like a third of what I actually need to use on the extensions. Um, you really got to saturate them so that they don't come out patchy. Extensions done. I just got to do this last little bit. I miss a bit. Where are you from? Why are you? I 
guys are just gonna hate me. Poor woman gets blue hands every time I go in off my hair. And it's obviously worse if it's fresh. Right, I made quite a bit more, so I'm just going to go back through the strands and like really saturate the lengths. Um, I think I did a pretty good job with the roots and things, um, but a lot of the uh, sort of mid, mid to length is uh, quite dry still. So yeah, see, like if I pull this apart, you can see the turquoise. <laughs> things. I now set a 30 minute timer and clean up duty starts so first off I get all of this off and anything that I've got on the sink or the floor or anything and then I come back. Okay so we do not have long. I've got about half an hour to put my makeup on and dry my hair before I then need to head to the hairdresser. Um, I need to pick up Grant's kilt on the way to the hairdresser. Um, so yes, let's get going. Thank you. 